Hi, my name is Jack from True Dead Frog, and I want to show you how to use the Design and Motion Chart Kit Time. This kit comes with several animations that you can use in your videos. To understand how to use them, you can use the animation guides. You can access the animation guides in the template folder under Reference Animations. There are a few different guides here, I will explain to you how each one works. You will notice that there are three different types of animations, the loops, the actions and the cycles, and I will explain individually how each one of them works. To start, you need to understand that each animation will have a code, and you will use this code to locate your animation inside the project. In the case of loops, the animations are cyclical and connects only to themselves. They can be extended as much as you want and usually the character will be repeating the animation always in the center of the screen. As an example, I will take this animation whose the code is L15. In the project, I go to the modular animations folder. The L in the code stands for loop. I will locate the animation L15. Now you just need to click and drag the animation into this composition. This is just an empty composition where I can assemble the animations. Since it's a looping, this animation always starts and ends in the same position. So I will be able to duplicate this layer as much as I want to extend this animation. I'm using Ctrl or Command D in this case. The next type of animations that we have are the actions. The animation A001 is the key action. You will use it to connect all the actions and even the cycles together. The actions always start and end at the stand still position. You will use this code to locate each of these animations in the project. You can extend the main action of some actions. In this case, they will have a start, middle and end modules. That way you can duplicate the action as much as you want. For example, the case of this animation, A009, it has a start transition module, then it has the cycle, which you can duplicate as much as you want, and then it has the stop animation that makes the transition to the stand still position. And in that way, you can connect this animation to any other action or cycles. So to use an action, you must use a code. So in this case, the code starts with A, which means action. So here in the action folder, I will get the A009 animations, start with the one through the three, and then I will drag it to this composition. Usually the green color represents the beginning of the animation. The orange color means that it's a cycle, and at the end, the red color means that it's the end. And it means that I can connect these animations to the standstill module. I will start with the standstill module and I will put another one at the end. So if I want to connect this to another animation later, it's totally possible. As I said, the animations that have a start, a cycle and then an end can be extended. So to do it, you just need to duplicate the cycle as much as you need and then just move the other models to the end of the last cycle. And this is the result of this animation that I just made. Cool, huh? The last type of animations that we have are the cycles. 
these animations are basically the walking and the run cycles that we have. Different than the loops, in the cycles the character will dislocate through the screen. Let me show you how you can use the cycles. Like we did before, you will need to use the code to locate the animation that you want. In this case, I will use the happy walking animation which has the code C005. In this case, we have three animations that are part of this cycle. Green is the beginning, blue represents that it's a cycle, and red represents the end of this animation. Similar to the actions in the cycles, the start and the end always have the same position that can connect to the key animation that is the stand still animation. So if I want I can connect it to the stand still animation in the start and even in the end too. But there is a secret here. As the character moves across the screen you will need to align the end of his movement to the animation. To do this you can use this code at the end of the name of this module. It works like this. In the character position property, you must add this value to the x axis. So here you will add 708 pixels to the current position value. And now it's perfect. If you want to extend the walk cycle, you will need to make this alignment as well. So to extend this walk cycle, I need to duplicate the cycle part of this animation. And then I'm going to move it in time. And now I need to align the end of the last movement. Notice how the two modules are not fitting together now. To make the correction, you're going to use this number that is at the end of the module name. You will add this value to the position of all the modules after this one. By pressing the letter P, you will reveal the position property. I'm going to add this value, 496, in each of these positions. Now, as you can see, the animation is already extended. If you want, you can adjust the position manually. In this case, my tip is to always leave one frame of intersection between the beginning and the end of the animation. Then, you will select all the layers and move them until one animation is on top of the other. In this way, the animation will also fit together and sometimes it can be faster than use the codes. It may be that at some point you will need to move and scale all this animation together to make them fit better into your composition. My suggestion is that you create a new layer and then parent all the animations to this new layer. Now, when you change the position or the scale, you will manipulate all the animations at once. This makes much more easier to manipulate all the animations together. For you to better understand the relationship between these animations, we have these PDF guides. So in the action guide, you can see how these modules connect. They will always start and end with the stand still module, but in the middle of some of these animations, you may need to connect to other modules as you see here. This diagram will help you to better understand what this relationship between animations looks like. The cycle and loops guide work in the same way, the cycles can start and stop with the stand still module but in the start and in the end there are some additional modules that will help you to extend 
the cycle animation as much as you need. And as I told you before, the loops only connect to themselves. If you want to adapt an animation, you will need to go inside these compositions. For example, you can double click on this composition either in the project panel or in the timeline and in this way you will find the exactly point where this animation is in the character animations composition. This way you can edit your animation as you like, manipulating the keyframes that are in this part of the timeline. Later, I will explain in details how to use these controllers to create or adapt your animations. If you want to create an animation from scratch, I suggest you to use another project that I will show you now. In the template folder, you will have a project folder and inside it, extras. Then open the project called Design and Motion Time Base. It's the same project that we have for the animations, but without the modules and without all those animations in the character animation composition. This way you will be able to restart your animation in a clean project. To create your animation, you will basically use the controllers that are exposed in your composition. Each one of these controllers are basically shape layers and if you want to edit or adapt your keyframes, you will need to locate the layer down here in the timeline. An easy way to locate the controller in the timeline is to select it, then click the shortcut. Control or Command, up arrow, Control or Command, down arrow. That way you will quickly locate any controller here in the timeline. Now I want to explain to you what each of these controllers are for. Starting from the left side, the first controller is for the head rotation. The second controller is for moving the head. Here you can tilt your head to one side or to the other. This is a very interesting controller. It will give perspective to the character. Here you have the body rotation. With this controller, you change the height of your shoulders, but at the same time. This one will rotate your shoulder. This area is for the facial expressions. On the right side, you can control the mouth expressions. On the left side, you have the controllers for the individual eyes. Here, on the right side, we have the controller to adjust the foot position. These controllers adjust the length of each part of the leg. They are very important for creating the illusion of perspective. The front walks were made using this too. When you show the length of the leg like I do here, it actually gives you an illusion of perspective. These are controllers for you to hide the foot behind or in front of the leg. This is the option for you to invert the joint to one side or to the other. As you had noticed, the same controllers for the left limbs are also available for the right limbs. Just below we have the controllers for the arms, 
which are very similar to the controllers of the legs. The first controller is for reversing the position of the arm. You also have the option to shorten each part of the arm, giving the illusion of perspective. And here we have a series of controllers for the hand. The first one spread the fingers apart. This one rotates the thumb. Here you can rotate the hand. This controller rotates the hand in perspective. These are individual controllers for the fingers. They shorten the fingers giving the illusion that the character is bending them. These two controllers move the character positions. They are similar to a camera. The first controller changes the position of the camera and the second one controls the distance of the camera from the character. There are also some controllers positioned on the character's body. They serve to move the limbs. And also the body. These are all the controllers that you will use to create or adapt your animations. I have made a way to you to create a transition between one character to another. You will choose two characters, the current character and the character that you want to transition to. In this case, I will make the boy transform into the girl. To do this, you need to open the character texture composition and define the transition point. Then you drag the character texture to each of the transition slot in the order that you want the transition to occur. Now you drag the transition composition into your character texture composition. At the end of the transition, you place the texture of the character too. Now, when you watch the animation that you made, you will see the transition happening. A very frequent question that I have is how to use more than one character in the same composition. I prepared a project called Design and Motion Chart Kit Multiple Characters. In this project, you will find five different characters with all the hierarchy used to create the animations. In each character folder, you will have the animation composition and also the modules folder with all the animations modules. This way you will have five different characters that can interact with each other in your animations. So you just need to drag them to the composition that you want. When your animation is ready, you will want to render it. There are some settings that I will suggest to you to use. So first, click on the Composition menu and add to the render queue. Here, you can keep the best settings, but in the output module, my suggestion is to use the QuickTime and here use RGB plus Alpha, so you will get a transparent background. And here, in the Format options, I use Apple ProRes 4444 and this will make sure that you will have a transparent background and a great quality. Save this file wherever you want and then render it. 
once the animation is rendered, you can import it into your video. In this way, it's super light and fast to use the animations, so you can manipulate them very easily.